Another month, another box. Hopefully I won't have to sell you too much on this one. <laughs> hey internet, I'm Steve and this is Raffo. So this is the June Cell box. I'm really, really excited. I've actually been spoiled as to the contents of this one, so I already know it's great. But because I already know what's in it, we're gonna get more in depth as to what the things are. Oh, I'm really excited for the Warbreaker one. I just need that letter opener. There we go. <laughs> okay, first off, Cosmere character pin of Rayodin, which is appropriate because it's the cell box. Elantrafix band-aids. Oh, oh man, these are so good. To, <laughs> to use simply a pl Oh, there is a start. No actual connection to the door. Okay. Because they're not actually Aeon infused. And then three, that's right, three fancy dragon steel boxes. The first one, the smallest one, is empty. No, just kidding. These are Aeon magnets. Oh, they're so good. All right, so the Aeons of these actually are... Got my computer here so I can cheat. We've got Rayo, which means spirit. Ile, which is center. Eni, which is wit or cleverness. And this is Tei, which is open. There are actually supposed to be a dot in the middle of this one technically, but we'll allow it. My favorite thing about these magnets is that they glow in the dark. I am a sucker for all things that glow in the dark, and so the fact that these do, they can glow just like glowy aeons. <laughs> I'm so excited! Then, in the longish one, we've got... Ooh, a rubber stamp that actually is the soul stamp from Emperor's Soul. Go, open, go, go, open. Oh, that's so satisfying. And then this one, which I'm so excited for. I'll get into the reason why I've seen all of these in a couple weeks. There is a story behind it, and it's a good story. And... Oh, an actual wax seal soul stamp. <laughs> I'm so excited. The sticks of wax. Ugh, if you can get them out. Sticks of wax actually say forger's wax on them. That's very good. Of course we have to do it. Mm, give me something to light on fire. The wax looks like it has a little bit of glitteriness to it. That's very nice. All right, we'll see if that's enough. Probably not. Let that set for a minute. And there we go. There's part of a soul stamp. Hooray! Now let's actually go into the Elantrafix, Aeon Infused Bandages. It's a nice, like really nice container. And, oh, there, wow, there's a lot. There's a lot more than I expected there to be. They weren't kidding around. This isn't like four or five band-aids. This is like, uh, many. Oh man, product of Teod. Elantrafix is just a bandage and cannot alleviate Sheod induced suffering in any way. Oh wow. So we've got four, I believe, different varieties of bandages. Four different colors. Oh, five! And the Aeons on these are Aeon... Aeti? 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 It's Aeti. It's the name of Aeti. Aeti, probably. Which means hope. As in hope of Elantris. Aeon Edo, which is protection or safety. If you look at the illustrations in Tress of the Emerald Sea, that is... There. No spoilers. This is Aeon Ito, which is body, flesh, or muscle. A very good one for a band-aid. This is Aeon Iale, 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 which is helpfulness or aid. Band aid. Haha. And this is Aeon Deo, which is stability or security. All of them very appropriate for a bandage. Finally, this box contains your cultured and classy. Your correspondent should be too. Indeed. Thank you. Bandage tin. Have you ever woken up damned for all eternity? Ugh. It's just, it's rough. Now presented in a case meticulously engineered to keep precious healing power from escaping. Meaning, I assume, this actually is made of aluminum. That would make sense. That's very funny. These are absolutely fantastic. Well done, Dragonsteel. But before we finish up, I do want to show off one more thing that is Elantris related. I was on the Sanderson Collector Discord, and I saw a picture of Mark's bookshelf. And he had something on there that I went, whoa, that's amazing. And the creator of that thing reached out to me and actually sent me one. It is... This. 
Prathen's missionary name tag. <laughs> it's so good. It's like the exact same font and everything. It's it's actually like, it's real nice. It's like engraved with an actual magnet clasp on it. It's so good. It's so good. Thank you, Derelict, for sending me this. This is this is great. Also, thank you to all of my patrons. We have so many at this point. It's really fun. Specifically, thank you to du uh, du uh, Doug, Matt, Matt, Steve, and the brand new Data Gremlin. Thank you guys so much for your support. It really means a lot, and it helps me a lot to make these videos. Because of the support of my patrons, I am actually going to be exhibiting at Dragonsteel Convention this year. I'm working on merchandise, so if you want to get pieces of merchandise before the actual convention, please support me on Patreon. I'm going to be sending out merch as soon as it's ready for my supporters. Next week, we're going to be talking about all the Cosmere connections in Secret Project 3. In fact, on Monday, the 17th of July, I'm going to be recording with the Sandersonian Institute for Cosmere Studies live on their YouTube channel for their podcast. You can check that out linked in the description. Again, that will be live on Monday, July 17th. In two weeks, we're going to be digging into a different fantasy property. I'm going to be talking about the Lord of the Rings set that was just released with Magic the Gathering, and I've got a story to tell about it. I'm real excited to share it with you guys. But in the meantime, I actually have to finish reading Yumi and the Nightmare Painter, so I have to read and find out...